हेलो फ्रेंड्स आप दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रतीक एंड दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट टेबल एंड चार्ट फॉर मल्टीपल चॉइसिस रिस्पॉन्सिस यूजिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल मेनी टाइम्स वी फेस अ डिफिकल्टी टू एनालाइज मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज वेन वी कलेक्ट डेटा थ्रू गूगल फॉर्म इट विल जनरेट डेटा इन अ कॉमा सेपरेटेड फाइल लाइक दिस यू कैन सी हियर here the data sets uh, is given and you can see that all the options that has been ticked by the respondent respondents they are comma separated now let's see let's talk about uh, the question the question is here what kind of snacks do you eat between meals and we have five options right so when respondents are giving response in google form they are simply just ticking and many times they select more than one options so when you create Google form out of it when you create an Excel sheet, it will generate this kind of data, and then it it is it become very difficult to analyze. So uh, very quickly, I'll I'll try to discuss that what how you can analyze this data to create frequency table and chart. So first of all, what you need to do is have to select this column, go to your data tab, click on text to column, then this kind of window will appear. click on next and when you click on next you can see here there are many options are available because our data is separated with comma so you have to tick this if it is by default you don't have to do anything then click on next in next step you have to define which kind of data do you have our data is textual data so we are going to select that and click on next you can see now that all your data that has been separated and uh, it has been separated by column so you have now multiple columns and uh, now what next thing you can do is uh, we have to create a frequency and then out of uh, frequency we have to create a percentage so first we have to count how many of this options is available how many options are available for food so what we can do that we can use count if option but before that you can see here when we are talking about this option fruit there is one space which is here you okay, let me just press back space so you can understand like this so before counting each cell you have to remove the space which is available in front of that options okay uh, if your data set is very big then it is i think very difficult to remove then what you can do you can select the entire data set again press control f this window will be appear click on replace and here find what you have to press backspace one time so you are you are adding one space like this and replace with no space so in replace you don't have to do anything okay so again i'm repeating find what you have to put one space and here you don't have to put anything replace all okay so you can see that they have just replaced 82 replacements are there so it means when you separated all those words in in options into columns there are 82 space within that column that has been replaced now you can see all data is are available all options are available without any space now we can use the count if option so if you want to count the frequency of first option that is what kakra what you can do you can write command like this and count if so this is the count if option you have to do add two things first is the range of data and second is the criteria so we know the range of the data this is our data set you have to select that entire once you do that just go to that formula comma and now you have to give the criteria so space criteria double colon the first option is kakra close it like this and present you can see here the it has been counted from the entire data set we have 32 frequencies now the same so this is this is done for for our first options now what we can do here we, we would like to fix this data set range if you want to fix this you you put dollar sign over here over here again over here and again you are what this will do this will fix the data set selection now you can simply drag and drop 
once you do that you can see the same numbers are here now we just have to replace our search query so here the search query is Amra. click ok we have 31 counts next is chips let's put chips we have 15 count next is chocolate so then we have three counts here let's replace this with fruits we have 33 counts and i you can see here the last option is other and with with the blank so we don't know what is the exact length of that blank so what you can do you can select any option from here select this other go to this formula and simply copy and paste click ok so this is your frequency you can very easily now make a total once you're done with total what you can do you can identify the frequency percentage as well so this is how you can do again we are fixing this as we have discussed previously we can fix this so that we can have equal percentage and we can cross verify by making 100 so this is how you can do i can put it up to two numbers like this and now if you want let's say for example any chart you can create like this see out of multiple choice response we have converted into a tabular format into a frequency and chart is in front of you okay thank you thank you for watching thank you